Are you thinking about staying at Sanctuary Capcana, but not sure which suite is right for you? My wife and I had the same issue, so we actually picked two different suites over the course of our honeymoon. The Oceanfront Monarch Villa and the Swim Out Castle Junior Suite. In this video, I will walk you through both while providing a few recommendations for staying at each. Let's jump in! The first eight days of our honeymoon, we stayed at an oceanfront monarch villa. Before we dive into our particular villa, let's take a look at where they're located. The villa collection is off to the side of the resort. Within the collection, there are the monarch villas, the oceanfront monarch villas, and the royalty villas. The oceanfront monarch villas and the royalty villas are split onto two different beaches. The ones on the right face the resort's private beach, and the ones on the left face a public beach. We stayed at Villa 1001 on the public beach side, and in our opinion, that side is the way to go. But I'll get more into those details later. Before even getting to the villa, there is a beautiful walkway from the main lobby. It's a bit of a walk, but not too bad. We found ourselves walking most of the time, but for those of you who prefer saving your energy, all villas come with a butler service who would be more than happy to drive you to your villa. As you get closer to the villas, it starts to feel very secluded and private, like it's not even part of a resort. As you enter the villa, you are greeted with a large living space that consists of a lounging area with a sofa, a TV, and a mini fridge filled with bottled water, soda, and beer that your butler restocks daily. Also keep in mind that you shouldn't drink the tap water, so make sure you always have bottled water at hand. As you continue, there are window filled doors that lead you out to the back deck area. And this view right here is why you booked the oceanfront, and where we spent most of our time while we were at the villa. The villa also consists of, well, a bathroom, a walk-in closet with a digital passcode safe, and a huge bedroom that leads back out to the beautiful ocean view. You can see that the public beach isn't so public. It's actually a lot less crowded than the resort's private beach. We only saw a handful of people on the public beach during our time at the villa. If you prefer a more active area, with closer access to the beach bar and snack grill, then getting a villa on the resort's private beach side might be more of your style. But if you are like us and want more of a peaceful, calm setting, then the public beach side is the side for you. Just a short walk from our villa, our favorite spot to hang out was in front of this tree that provided a lot of shade when we were too hot. And it was also a lot of fun to climb on. For those of you who may be skeptical as to if the public beach side is safe, for one, all of Capcana is a gated community where you have to have credentials to even get in the area. And second, it seemed the resort had a staff member that washed over the public beach area for most of the day. After staying at the villa, we spent our last three days at the Swim Out Castle Junior Suite. Let's take a look at where these suites are located. The castle is to the far right side of the map, and within the area, the Swim Out Junior Suites are on the right side of the castle. We stayed at Suite 1049, which is the closest swim out to the ocean. Inside the castle is dimly lit with very few windows, which really gives it a more fitting ambiance. But as you enter the suite, the room is filled with natural light. Just like the Monarch Villa, all castle suites come with butler service. This suite has a fresh, modern bathroom with a large bathtub and opening to the bedroom. A spacious walk-in shower with smart controls a king-size bed and full-length mirror, a mini fridge with stock beverages, a vanity for setting up your makeup, and a seating area. One thing to note about Suite 1049 
While it's the closest swim out to the ocean, it doesn't have an outdoor space with lounge chairs and outdoor dining like the other swim outs. We were pretty bummed to find no area to relax outside of our suite. If you're considering a swim out and having outdoor seating is important to you, then after booking we recommend calling the resort and requesting a suite with an outdoor space. On the other hand, if you need assistance getting in and out of the pool, this suite has a tall, sturdy railing that leads down into the pool, which it seemed other suites didn't have. Another thing to keep in mind is the nightclub is next to the castle. Even though our swim out was on the opposite side, we could hear the music thumping in the distance until pretty late at night. If you are a light sleeper, we definitely recommend bringing earplugs. That about wraps it up for the Castle Junior Suite Swim Out. Before you go, we have a few more recommendations for you to consider. Between March and April is the best time to go to Cap Cana, as the busy season is calming down and it's before hurricane season. We stayed at Sanctuary Cap Cana in April and the weather was perfect. Low to mid 80s the entire 11 days with no rain and little clouds. If you are not in a rush to book your stay, wait until Sanctuary Cap Cana has a holiday special going on. We booked our trip the December before our planned vacation and they had a 20% off holiday sale. The resort doesn't provide transportation to and from the airport, so make sure you book that prior to your trip. If you wanna see what excursions we went on during our stay at Cap Cana, those are listed in the description below, as well as the thumbnail to the video linked in the upper right corner. Also, be sure to look through our things to bring list down in the description, so you don't miss out on bringing extra sunscreen, which is expensive at the resort, or bringing extra cash for tipping, as the resort charges a 10% fee for any cash withdrawals. We hope this was helpful for you in making your decision on which place to choose for your future vacation. Leave a comment below if you have any questions we didn't answer during the video. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.